Today's video is sponsored by the game Anvil Saga, so thank you so much to Pyroshock Studio and HeroCraft PC for sending me a copy of this game. And as always, I hope you enjoy. You have a small house and a fortune at your disposal. It's not much, but still better than starting from scratch. Here your glorious path to wealth and art of your beloved girl begins. Well that lies far ahead, now kill the forge. Alright, so I opened up the forge. I don't have any customs, might as well make some ingots out of the ore. Great the tutorial, but it was a bit long. Okay. Find a few coins, don't we all? Oh god, God's swing in the background. It's colder than it's hot. <laughs> Just casual small talk. You guys receive a new trade. Dancers can receive negative and positive trades and affect the carrots. You have to read trade description and pick the best assignment for it. Have a trade? Where? I don't know where to look. <laughs> Running out of ore again. Time to dig a shaft. Ah, that's probably fine. Take some time to construct, but fine. In the meantime, I should probably buy some ore and ingots. So to be higher difficulty, I should... I need to, like, weigh which ones are worth making. I suppose both factions don't like each other. If you make an order for a soldier, knight, or hunter, from one faction, it'll worth a reputation with the others. How do I tell them from Pod? That implies to witches and monks, however, since they don't have many eyes and ears in the province, reputation only decreases if a member of the opposing faction witnesses the production of an order. Bandits, that is. The people of Lauka, the just, do not like to be refused. Each refusal, refusal will worsen your reputation with them. That's a bandit? You'll receive different bonuses and penalties depending on your reputation with different factions. For example, England can... Generously reward you with gold every day, and bandits can int intimidate your workers so you don't have to pay them wages. That seems horrible. Pay your workers, please. Ah, uh, mine. What do we need for a mine? Mine entrance. I like that. It, I I assume. That's gotta be it, right? I need a crate. Does that mean I can go mine now? Ah, oh, here it is! Uses the furnace carefully, so there's 20% chance that smelting an ingot will not use it. Oh, that's not. Negotiable orders are framed in gold. Okay, so I can negotiate, I can haggle. I should probably place that a little bit closer. He's. Walking way too slow towards that. What does that mean? Arachnophobia. All this work is within the mine. The whole nest of spiders fell on him. When he works in the mine, there's a different chance of him looking around to watch for these creatures. That's one ore each time? Damn. Okay, so I can open while I'm climbing up the ladder. I can open whenever. He doesn't need to go for that. Then I'm gonna buy ore and some ingots. So I have enough. What is that? What is he? He abandoned? Who are you? Ah, he's a guy, person delivering me stuff. Ooh, that one's good money. <laughs> My arse is itching. He's just over here complaining about his butt cheeks. It's out to work in the forge alone. The village chief has sent you three young men who want to become your apprentices. This young man is new to the village. He came from Gascony. My name is Therith, Martha Blacksith. I know I give him a lisp. Monty is the local trickster and rascal. He tries to look like a nobleman in everything he does. <laughs> My name is Monty, sir. I wanted to become your apprentice for ages, if you will have me. <laughs> he looks so handsome. I love his beard. And this is Stone, winner of all the fights and wrestling contests in the village. I like that guy's beard. And do all sorts of things. I'm strong as an ox. I'm sure I'll be useful. So which of them is worthy of becoming your apprentice? I mean, he seems like a good candidate. Oh! Relation with Bendis will improve, but I'll lose with friends and England. Yeah, I'm not picking Monty! This one goes up with friends. We're gonna go for Stone. He just seems like a better candidate. He can actually work and everything. The other ones are tricksters and pretenders. I'm an apprentice. You need a room where he can rest after hard work. You have a nice level of fatigue and. Pay his salary on time. Your princess skills will improve with time. And now, let's get to it. Except, 
and successfully complete five orders with Stone's help. The Forge's workers will demand to be paid to continue work. A refusal will upset them, and if their mood drops further, they will leave. Fair enough. If you want to get rid of a worker, you don't need to remove the... As <laughs> to the cellar! <laughs> you can just fire them! Oh, for fuck's sake. The higher Forge's prestige, the more appealing it'll look to rich clients. By increasing your Forge's prestige and upgrading the stall, you're going to attract money bags. I hate that guy. We're willing to pay much more for the orders than the peasants. In addition, stall upgrades will increase your maximum workshop storage space for wood and ingots. Prestige is increased when you complete orders, but it has an upper limit. Upgrade your house decorations to increase your prestige limit. Send stone to smith orders on the anvil. Okay, so I'm going to go there and he's going to go make this stuff. Uh, I also need to upgrade the stall. I don't have money for that, so. And I require 50 fame. I need more fame. Upgrade house decorations. Wait, to upgrade them. It's a room design. I can give myself a wooden roof. That costs 40 gold. Okay, let's uh, take that one step at a time. You're a smith, right? In the name of this majesty, the Dauphin of France, I'm authorized to collect the land tax for the good of our country. Oh, you just praying? Okay, so I need to pay taxes. That makes sense. Both coins. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. Help me out. Money's very tight. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> this one time. As soon as the money appears, I'll go straight to you. I hope that's the right decision. I don't know if they'll pay or not. I'll take the chance. Who's that guy? He's red. If he's red, what does that mean? What is red? Red is England. Why do I have minus 45 with friends? I paid the taxes. What? What did I do? Was it because I let someone wait? Was Are they from France? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so I can hire another one. The cost of the worker. Buy the cost to hire the professional. Could I just build a little chest down there? Could I build this one down there? Could this work. Ah. Uh, put another one of these. No, okay. Never mind. Workers need to be fed regularly. Yes, how do I feed? A hungry pickle will make mistakes while forging. Yes. If a worker remains unfit for a long time, they might starve to death. I don't want that. Cook food, you need to have enough provisions in storage. You can purchase from the merchant. Do I have any food? How do I know if I have food? Here is piece in it. Okay, so I buy food here. <laughs> I can't say no to the French because they're angry at me. Right? That's what that means? Why do they keep getting angrier? I'm making it for them. This will improve. Okay, so now it went up. Why was it... Okay. I'm very confused. It is fun, but I'm very confused. So now it's good. I'm on good terms with them again. No. I'm running low on ingots. Now see, that's what I like. Money. <laughs> I don't have time to mine anything. I need another employee to do that. I also have enough to upgrade the roof. Wood roof. And yep. Okay, don't have enough money for that. I just need to slowly upgrade the house. It seems nice. You're not gonna give me anything, are you? It's still two, I can survive that. I wonder if they actually do pay me back eventually. 
Okay, I'm gonna accept that, and then I need to close because I don't have enough ingots for this. Have we seen this much in our village before? It looks fancy. So I'm gonna find out what he wants. But I just sent him to the mines! Hey, big guy, call the owner. I'll go all the way to speak to an apprentice. Get a move on you. You be nice to Stone! He's an amazing employee. What is this? Without a good supplier, there is no smoothie business. If I can complete the order well enough, Antonio will supply me with indispensable goods from faraway lands. Ah. I need to grab this item in order to complete this item or this item. I I don't see any difference. Five horseshoes? I can make five horseshoes. I need to make all of them. I go, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I closed up the smithy and just bought a bunch of ore. I love the animations. It's so cute. Like, the game really looks good. Love pixel art. That's getting hungry. Should probably get something to eat. Go eat! How <laughs> the stubble food? Profitable partnership. What did that do? I did gain some money. Not sure if that money is enough. I could really use a third employee. Not sure about selling branding irons to the church. Something feels wrong about that. But the food automatically gets dumped in here. And demand taxes. I mean, I can't not pay taxes. I have to pay taxes. <laughs> He really like that. Demand extension. You can postpone paying taxes for one day. I'm all good. The weather is bad. It looks nice and sunny. Birds are chirping. Oh shit! I don't have enough. Okay, so I definitely need someone to work in the mines to keep it somewhat steady. I can only afford Gerard. But that's going to be expensive. In the meantime, I will make a few orders so I have enough to buy a worker to work in the mines. <coughs> Regardless of whether or not he's good at it. Okay, so now I can hire... I can't hire him! Fuck! I forgot! Okay. Build a new room. Let's expand over here. Like that, yeah. Can you both work in the mine at the same time? Because that would be amazing. Cannot. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to buy a little bit of ore then. What is this? We go for work. Equipment. We go for working the furnace. Other workbenches require different tools. So can I just buy these and then equip them? I can. These are universal tools. Okay. I didn't realize tools were a thing. Oh, right. Wait, I need it all. Is that... Gerald? Grey Wolf. Oh my god. Greetings, my Tell me, does your village have a problem with monsters? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Well, Night Raid, for example, a Lesion, maybe some Drowners. Are you quite alright? Have you hit your head recently? You don't have any Drowners or anything around here, thank God. 
kind of province is this? There's just no work to be had around here. Can you at least make me a sturdy flask? I have anything to store my potions in. <laughs> That's so stupid, I love it. You should open with that. Okay, so what do I need for this? Hold on, what is that? Okay, so I need to buy one of these. I think. Need an item from the store, yeah. Now we're waiting for that one. I am gonna... Build a living room? Gonna be a cheap bed to begin with. I don't know what that guy's doing here. Oh, there's a guy saying the belt thing. Is my flash ready, Smith? Quite ready. Just make sure don't you don't drink too many of these potions. You don't need any monsters around here. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I've been drinking these potions since my childhood. That doesn't sound great. Arthur, you bet your father was quite the craftsman. Such a shame he passed away. He did good work, and most importantly, his prices were low. <clears throat> Is he restoring his old business? I wouldn't let it go to waste. We need a good blacksmith around here, especially in times of war. You know, I always gave the best orders to your father, but you, I'm not so sure about. You need to earn my trust. I'll gladly prove my father taught me everything that he knew. Good. Now make me a few swords. It's fine if they're a bit dull, but they need to look good. I'm not going to pay you for the materials. I'm only going to pay you for the materials if you can manage this simple task, although you can be relied upon. You can count on me, my lord. Why do you need the swords? I may not ask why. It's a matter of national importance. Okay. Put some effort into it. Yeah. It'll cost six ingots. That's fine. Did you just spit at me? Oh, Arthur, my salt's ready. You've been standing here this entire time. I could have delivered them to you. You could have gone. It took a night. You could have just come back tomorrow. Or today, I guess. Of course, my lord. I made the best ability. They're not sharp enough to jump off a head, but they look great hanging on the wall. Your father would have done a better job, of course. But you're still young. That is rude. Well done. If you give up the good work, maybe you become my court blacksmith one day. My lord, I couldn't dream of a better recognition for my work. I shall do my best. Here, have your father's tools. I was safe keeping them. After his death, so nobody would steal them. <clears throat> With those in hand, maybe this smithing will go better. Oh, I just got my father's old tools. Okay. That must be Oscar's tools. Plus two forging level. So I get plenty of universal tools. So now I get minus one and everything else, but I do get two plus two in forging, which is pretty good. I guess I can always... So they have more tools. Peasant. Hello, Arthur. Playing to sow the weed. Please help us. We don't have anything to eat in the winter. Unfortunately, we don't have much money. A five sickles. We'll get 25 gold. Use. Uh, I guess... Ah, I just got the money that I needed. Lord bless you, Arthur. A little wheat will grow this year. These will to survive somehow. Uh, 
First time to start planting crops. Effects. Price for food is higher. Clients come together more often. Peasants. Peasants come more often. Soldiers, hunters, knights, merchants, monks, and witches will come less often. So more, more peasants? Okay. Hey, Arthur. Some food as thanks for the hose. We'd starve to death without you. I don't have I don't have room for any more food. Gerard. I'm gonna try and hire him. Just because he's cheap and right now I just need someone who can work in the mines. Okay, now where is he? This worker doesn't care much about being paid. Nice guy. You're still getting paid, though. You don't have a choice. But you do need the mining stuff. If only it didn't rain. It's not raining! This happened? Pacifist. This worker refuses to work on orders for soldiers and knights. That's fine. If he's in the mines, I should be fine then. I love Gerard. He's selfless. He's a pacifist. He's just amazing. A search of strength. The worker does their work 30% faster if the satiation and sleep levels are above 75%. He's amazing. I love him. A vampire? <laughs> he has a lisp. Myth, I have come for your bud. Come again? I need some food. Ah, got it. Wouldn't it be difficult to eat with teeth like these? Yes, I need some new teeth. I wanted the village for ages, but nobody wanted to help. Well, neither can I. You need a barber for the surgery, though. I doubt many take a case this bad. What does it even say? The nearest one is in another province. War is waiting on, and I don't even have a sword. Smith, can you help? I am tired of all the. I am tired of all this wandering around. Make a sword and a suit of armor. He's a man to fish. I'm gonna make the barber tools so he can do it himself. Can't treat your teeth, but make the tools you can do it yourself. Well, that would be nice, I suppose. That's this. I'll stick and fast thing down. Yeah, I can't even speak lisp. Well, it, it's not raining! What do you mean? Who's he? Beauty Smith, you did me good. I wasn't too happy at first, but then I got into it. Turns out fixing and making teeth is my calling. I decided to open a barbershop nearby. If you have any issues, <laughs> come by. I'll be heck glad to see you. You're a very wise smith. Here, have this gift. Oh. I can upgrade the insides. Just like that. I can take that one too. It's not raining! What is this? The merchant again. I'm glad to see you, Arthur. I have all these orders that I just can't handle without your help. Make an order for England. England will want me generosity for this order. Friends or bandits. I'm gonna make one for England because they've been starting to be annoyed at me and I have very good like record with France. 
The war rages on and business keeps going strong. English soldiers keep ordering more and more. But here's the thing. Do you need the money right now? Because if we could wait, we could give this order to our customers as a freebie. Just make sure everything goes smoothly. Ah. Make for money. At 72 gold, though. Yeah, I need the gold. Okay, there's a lot here. When he likes to take on an urgent order for a humble monk. Listen, <laughs> there's a lot here right now. Our esteemed abbot, Monsieur Abelard, <laughs> has ordered a bunch of sturdy locks to be procured right away. One said no thief could pick. Somebody steal spear. You make us the locks. Uh Blazes with just with will worsen. Uh, sure. Thanks the law, okay. Oh wait, you need to No! No! That's it. Which works actually. Maybe away from home, but I always attempt with my gun. Bah! Eat! Why do you insist on making food and not eating? Do I upgrade stuff down here? Can. So if I just upgrade this. Now I should be able to get enough fame to upgrade this all. Okay! It's a hectic management game. It's fun. But hectic. The locks are ready. No one will drink even a drop of beer without the abbot's knowledge. They have more than enough to upgrade this doll now. Could I? Could I like upgrade? I don't need to build a room, I just, I kind of want to upgrade my, well, I guess that's what I'm doing now, but the, the workstations. Mine entrance, so I can have more people in the mines. Cooking furnace. That's one for food. Unlocks a new type of orders, sharpening. So if I get one more worker, I can make him be the sharpening guy. Oh, what does that guy want? Sir Philip, finally I found a blacksmith in this dump. You're not all thumbs, I hope. Good afternoon, I have the normal digits. Suits you, I can make your order. I need the best possible sword. Not like the ones you make for the locals. It must be impeccable. There's what's wrong with regular swords. I'm Sir Philip, and Sir Philip only takes the best. Some customers are extremely demanding. I bet they don't want me enough to finish their orders. The use the merchant's shop and other options to meet their needs. You're in luck, you came to the black best blacksmith. I'll start your order right away. Stop, do we have a grindstone in this stump? I don't see one. I don't need a blunt sword. A blacksmith is helpless without his grindstone. It's time to set one up. That's kind of a funny timing, don't you think? <laughs> She's looking at one. Oh, I guess it's because the French likes me so much. And I do get, like, extra stuff for doing this for them. So the better reputation I have, I do get, like, bonuses. Postpone paying taxes, and I can look through one potential. I can't even... I can't even house you right now. I guess that's the only place I can put it. Well, you're satisfied now? I'm never satisfied! But now I believe you can make something resembling a sword. <laughs> All done, Sir Philip. You won't see any villagers here carrying a sword of that quality. This is, of course, far from impeccable. But Sir Philip is pleased. You're not that bad for a lowborn. Sir Philip shall come again! Fucking Sir Philip. Who are you? Hitman. Hey, Arthur. We got urgent news. 
Somebody stole your cow again? No, base is perfectly fine. The commanders of both armies are heading here. Uh, you have to, they're heading your way. Why? There's a big battle brewing. There aren't many blacksmiths around. Looks like you're about to be even more swamped with work. You wipe the counter off at least. Duke de la Corte is about to arrive. The Englishman will come later. Watch your tongue, Arthur. Don't get our villagemen down. Once again, Arthur faces a difficult choice to support England, his birthplace, or France, which gave him a home. What time is harsh, you can only support one side. Weigh all the pros and cons, your contribution might decide the outcomes of this endless war. Basic blacksmith, how close you work in these trying times? Welcome, monsieur. It's hard, but we get by. How can I help you? The Englishmen beset us on all sides. A decisive battle for the province's fate awaits us. Even though your family comes from England, the local baron said very good things about your father. That's why I'm ready to entrust you with a strategically important order. I'm sure the English invader would like to employ your services as well, so I'll warn you right away. I won't stand for any collusion with the enemy. My new home needs my help. I have forged five swords and five shields for the French. I listen to my blood's call and support the English. I get a lot of love from the French if I say yes. I lose a lot of it if I say no. I'm going to say yes. Thank you for your trust, Monsieur France. Give me a family place to live and to work. Would be honored to help you. The cooperation will not be forgotten. We chase the English away. I would be happy. Once a cobbery. Hello there, Blacksmith. I've heard your smithy is one of the best around. Is that true? Why would you go to France to order weapons when you're in fight with friends? A good day, my lord. Doubtlessly. It was a, it was the best while my father was alive. And it, his unfortunate sudden death. I'm doing everything I can to remain the case. Name's Arthur, right? Doesn't sound too French. That's right, my family hails from England, lord. Then did your guard give him duties to help us? <laughs> Bullshit! Assume we shall fight the French and our fresh recruits need their arms. Will you serve your distant yet generous homeland? I'm gonna have to decline. The French gave me everything. To hell with the English. I'm sure my heart goes to my homeland, but the French already make me work for them. Please understand. I'm just a single man and wouldn't dare go against those in power. Those bloody French. Blacksmith, you need to think two steps ahead. Like a true English lion. Not like these toads around here. They say there's some other blacksmith around here. Gene or something. He should be smarter than you, even if he is French. <laughs> Would probably have been smarter to just do it for the French. Because I can stand to lose a lot more with them than I can the English. It's not that hard. I have a message for the blacksmith for the Holy Church. The Holy Church is demanding a tithe. That's new. Can I help that a paying? Our faith preaches tolerance, but the tithe is mandatory, blacksmith. Ah, fucking church taxes. Who's that? Oh, there he is. He's very slow. I've been sent by Duke de la Court to retrieve your order. Everything ready? Great. You've earned your coin, blacksmith. Let's serve my homeland. Reach some maximum reputation with France. All right. French soldiers and knights pay, pay an additional half for their orders. Need. Don't. Don't just make the food. Eat it. That one. Big reputation. Employee must read. Tempering and advanced smoothing in order to complete the order. But I don't have access to it. I don't have a bookcase. I don't have a bookcase. It's not because I'm trying to haggle. Gonna have to build the bookcase quickly and then buy the books. 
I don't have room for a bookcase. Ah! What do I do? I'm gonna have to expand. <laughs> I hope I can make it in time. Expand that? What does that mean? Oh, it's fine. How do I expand? Hey, man. I want to accept it. No. Oh, actually, no, I don't. That's got to be English, right? Didn't bring an advanced smithing. I want to say yes, but I can't. No! I'm not trying to heckle! I'm... I can't! I can Kitchen. No. Training room. Library. There we go. What do we need in the library? Bookshelves, tables, and chairs. Get a bookshelf here. White sofa. One can take a nap on it. This one should be fine. And people. Just like that. Then and furnish the room. Put this around. Nice. Buy a book. Armor making. Woodworking Bible. Jewelry. Mechanics. I need that one. I don't have enough money for it. Instruments. Okay, so now I can make this. Buy that one. Then because Arthur can't be fired. Listen, Gerard, I'm... I want to ask for an extension. I want to pay... I can pay now! God damn it, the one time! The one time! I go down, it's the one time I needed it. So again, Smith, these locks are really solid. The beer is safe. Abbott is happy. What does it mean this time? Request from a whole fraternity. We need to test the newest beer bench. So now you need lockpicks. Here's at least one employee. Church will be happy. I'm gonna send Gerard. I didn't pay him, so he deserves a good beer tasting. <laughs> Promise I won't overdo it. If anyone deserves it, it's Gerard. I'm not sure if that's a person being angry in the background or that's a cow mooing. He's with you. Is that an assassin? He's with you, Smith. I got a Smith. I got a difficult order for you, and you must keep it a secret. Can I rely on you? Okay, well, we'll get the moment it's delivered. We need a crafty blade with a special mechanism. <laughs> One that makes it extend. Of course it is. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. I haven't worked with contraptions like before. Got a couple of blueprints. You won't understand the language, but the images are quite precise. You're just fine with them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't have time for that now, anyway. He just got there. Who's that? Where have you been? We've been waiting for, for two for the past couple of days. 
Oh, don't ask master. It's my fault. The devil let me astray on the hollow ground. I had a vacation. Work without a salary. He already worked without a salary. What do you mean? He deserved the vacation. That'll be. Then here, approach. The order's ready. You give it a try. William Smith, just what I needed. Tell me. Is there a crusader base nearby? Times like these, there are all sorts of people around, so I couldn't tell you. No matter. I'll find a tall tower and figure it out myself. Remember, don't tell anyone you saw me. God damn it! Eat it! Ah, oh, he doesn't know how. Okay, there's a lot happening. Could we all just take a step back, please? Go through the witch. Smith, there's a curse upon this smith. I can see it clearly. He needs to spell right away. Great war awaits you. Oh, no, not a curse. Will you just spell it for free, I hope? Naturally. This needs to complete the small order. Right, of course. I've been doing fine so far, even with that curse. So, well, see you. Fine, fine. I'll pay with gold. I'll just... She'll pay? I'll dispel the curse as an extra payment. You complete the order with... <laughs> I hope we're talking. How can I help you? Baron has ordered our head priestess to call the rain with the witchcraft. The local fields flourish. However, the ceremonial cauldron has a hole in it. Could you fortune you won? Ah, uh, sure. I'm friends enough with the church. Don't need to be that good friends with them. It's been too hot lately. You'll have your cauldron. Magical Smith. The head priestess will be happy. How about that curse? Be gone, curse! That's it. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'd say my little smoothie is coming along well. This is a really fun game. I like little politics. It doesn't like completely interrupt the game, but it does have to make you think on what to do. I didn't play the story mode, not the not the hard mode where you actually have to decide who to like work with and who not to because then the consequences actually like it actually, it, they do have consequences i was playing the the story mode so it does matter just not as much i i really appreciate that being an option because i hate <laughs> making too many decisions but there's a lot to it like you can build a whole smithy i've only gotten to build like a few rooms i only have three people hired you can make this the whole thing like you can automate it all. And I do really, really love a good little game where you can like have your own tavern or your own smithy. So I I really, really enjoyed this. So thank you very much, Pyroshock and HeroCraft, for sending me a copy of this game. This has been so much fun. And if anyone wants to check out this game for themselves, have a bit of fun making your own smithy, links down in the description below where you can get the game. And I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.